Well, welcome back to Contrast Lee. My name's Simon Plant, and today I'm going to show you a really nifty way of removing crowds from your images. Well, today's tutorial uh, is uh, all about removing objects or people um, from your photographs. So let me set the scene. You go to, say, the uh, route to Rome, for instance, and you really want to photograph the, the Colosseum at dawn in beautiful light, and you don't really want anybody else in the scene. Well, you're right there at dawn, and I've done this myself, you're right there at dawn, and there's still, you know, it's not crowded, but there's still people milling around. So you might have road sweepers uh, and cleaners, and you might have other photographers. So there's always a, always a way around this, and you could just take plenty of pictures and manually re retouch the pictures until you remove all the objects in, in the shot. But there is a, a better, or I'll say better way, there is a much easier way. Uh, of uh, doing this and it's been in Photoshop for quite a long time maybe six years or longer but it's perhaps not been um, in in, a, in an area of Photoshop that you go to a lot it's actually a script and this is what we're going to show you today so to do this technique you really need to set your camera on a tripod and uh, obviously set your composition set all your settings and not touch it any more than that apart from using a cable release to take pictures and you take a lot of pictures what you're going to be doing here the filter we're going to use is called the medium filter and it basically will remove um, any objects in the frame that are not consistent so if you've got a tree or say like in this picture a sign that's a consistent feature in the image but let's say you've got a, a, a child or a person or a car or anything like that uh, that's in the scene but it's in different positions in the scene it will actually remove that object and that's how this uh, this script works so i'm going to show you take you through this today and uh, we'll get cracking these are the images we're going to be using it's a set of pictures that I took on a tripod with my son as the model a few years ago now and we're going to let photoshop uh, automatically remove um, him from the image and leave us with a plain scene with nobody in it so I just want to explain again about the camera settings here because I think it's important that I go into a bit more detail on that uh, for this to work well you need to set your camera on a tripod you need to set your focus manually okay so no autofocus you need to put your exposure into uh, mode into into manually also so set your shutter speed set your aperture and again don't touch it if the exposure of the scene does change then use a shutter speed uh, to uh, to change that not the aperture okay focal length needs to stay the same this image down here I did a test render of these and I realized that actually this one was a slightly different focal length and it created an awful awful problem um, and it w just wouldn't work so you need to make sure I'm just going to delete that make sure that these are all the same focal length um, it's the same like I said you're doing panoramic you don't want any variables uh, in there you need a consistent frame and you want to use a shutter, use the cable release uh, take a picture wait for any objects in the scene to move take another picture and so forth until you feel you've got enough um, images there and I don't know how many of that images you need it depends on how many people are in shot so this, this is a ro busy road and there's lots of cars you might just have to take lots and lots of pictures to ensure you've got clear parts in the road okay with this image as like I said this is just my son uh, modeling for me um, and uh, I just got him to keep moving around in the scene which he was quite good at uh, which uh, <laughs> funny enough he never stood still so um, so yeah so there's no kind of right or wrong but obviously if in doubt shoot more than you need okay so now I'm gonna go to uh, into Photoshop okay we want to go up to file to scripts and down to a thing called statistics a bit of a difficult one to say for me statistics okay that will open up the statistics image dialog box um, you need to choose a stack mode we want median and don't ask me what all these other ones are because I really don't know but they I'm sure they've got some uh, some uh, obviously use uh, maybe for uh, scientific uses I don't know but what median we need to browse to our images so click on browse um, and then select the images that you want click open uh, and there's all our images you want to make sure that this box here is ticked attempt to automatically align source images and that will obviously do what it says it will automatically try and align all your images to register them and then click OK 
and now it'll work its magic and that may take a little while especially depending on how many images you've uh, you've captured and there we have it our finished child free car free or tourist free image so i think you'll agree um although this is quite a short video um it's quite a powerful technique to know um and if you've got that in your locker you can obviously get around problems if you're on assignment or even if you're just taking personal pictures um on holiday if you don't want crowds or lots of cars or something in the shot knowing this technique and it is very simple uh, you can get around that um quite easily so i hope you've enjoyed this video and i hope to catch you on the next one. Cheers for watching.